Good evening. Welcome back. It is Friday, May 11th, 2023. We don't have a lot of events for today, and we only have a couple of birthdays. <clears throat> so the only event, and looking through through uh, the days on, or this particular day, all the events that happened on this date on Racing Reference, reference there was only one of really, really big significance, and that was in 1986 on this day. The Winston All-Star Race was held at Atlanta Motor Speedway. And of course, Bill Elliott won the Winston, and Benny Parsons won the companion event called the Atlanta Invitational, which was for, for uh, drivers from the previous year that were not race winners, and they were voted in by the fans. The top 12 vote getters for that particular race <clears throat> got entry. Kyle Petty started on the pole as he had the most votes. The rest of the field had to qualify. And the idea of the Winston originally was to rotate from track to track every year. And unfortunately, from 20 or from 1987 till 2019, it was held at Charlotte. And it became very boring. They gimmicked it up. They did different things. They did the stages. They did the double file restarts. They did everything basically that's got us to where we are now. And, you know, meaning the double file. You think about this double file restarts, stage racing and green flag finishes all were part of the all-star race and now it's part of every nascar race so anyway <clears throat> in 2020 of course covid year you had it at bristol then they moved it back to Char did they move it back to charlotte one time and then it's been at texas the last couple of years no it was moved to texas in 21 and 22 and then this year it'll be at wilkesboro and i think wilkesboro will be a good place to have it so anyway, that was the biggest event that happened on this date. There was a few other races, <clears throat> and much like last month, we're going to have these big gaps in dates because this race, the 1986, the Winston, was run on Mother's Day Sunday. Very poorly attended. I don't know what the ratings were, but it was very, very poor attendance. And Easter and Mother's Day were two days that NASCAR used to stray away from, and now it's like, hey... Just put it out there because every other sport's competing too, and we're losing dollars. So anyway, our birthdays for today. A couple of them I don't have cards for. Born on this date in 1934, former modified star Carl Bug Stevens. And former, and born on this date in 1940, former USAC stock car driver and champion Butch Hartman. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, there was a competitor to NASCAR called USAC, that ran a stock car series that was very, very similar to NASCAR. I mean, if you looked at the cars, unless you knew them, unless you knew who the drivers were and the sponsors and so forth back at that time in the 60s and 70s, you didn't know what you was looking at. And eventually the USAC, I believe the USAC stock car series, got absorbed into the ARCA series eventually. Um, at least that's what I can tell just from what little things that I've seen. I really don't know what happened to the USAC stock car series. Last time I knew it ran in the very, very early 80s, 81, 82, 83-ish, and a lot of those drivers did go to ARCA, so I don't know if the series was uh, swallowed up by ARCA or if it just went away and those guys went to ARCA because it was the next thing that they could compete in. So anyway, the two birthdays I have cards for, born on this date in 1958. We're going to learn a little bit about this guy, Mr. Glenn Bobo. You've seen him on my rips, so there's a little bit about him. Worked for Bobby Allison, body man. So, don't know much about Mr. Bobo. I do know that he does TTM. I do see that on a lot of the groups. So, may have to get a couple of those cards out to him. Born on this date, 1924. Sadly, passed away in 1998. Hall of Famer, two-time Cup Series champion, Mr. Tim Flock. Part of the famous Flock family. His brother's Fonty. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, and who was his other brother? Um, I'm drawing a blank on the Flock brothers now. Tim Flock, Fonty Flock, and Bob Flock. And, of course, their sister, Ethel Mobley Flock, also raced. Or F Ethel Flock Mobley. Um, so we're just going to kind of rapid fire through these. And it's going to chronicle different events and times during Tim's career. He did race briefly with a, a monkey in his car named Jocko Flocko. And as the story went, uh, this monkey would watch. They, they used to have a little panel in the car, and they'd pull the string and see the right front tire, and they'd check their tire wear. And the monkey kept watching him do that and got out of the seat, seat harness, went down there, pulled that string, and a, a stone came up and hit the monkey in the head and scared him. And he started jumping all over Tim Flock, as the story goes. And Tim had to come into the pits 
and put the monkey out of the car. And after that, uh, Jocko Flacco, his racing career was over. Of course, I like these legend sets. Those were always pretty cool. I'm trying to read that name. I mean, they just had really weird... I mean, look at, look at that driving getup. There, there's nothing there. Nothing safe about that at all. I mean, the, the riders on the Kentucky Derby the other day were geared up better than that. So, uh, got this one here, a by the numbers. Let's see what's significant about 46. Tim Flox winning percentage. So, not too shabby. And then the uh, retro, this was actually part of the set from the 1998 Press Pass. But cards 101 through 50, 101 through 150, were the um, 50 greatest drivers at the time for NASCAR. And of course, you see full, full jeweled there, number 300. These were the uh, Chrysler 300s owned by Carl Kiefer, and Carl Kiefer owned the Mercury Outboard Company, which later became Evinrude Outboards and so forth. But the Mercury Outboard Company sponsored them, and they, they ran the name Mercury Outboards on the side of the car, but everybody thought the cars were Mercury's and not the Chrysler 300s, hence why they all ran 300, 301, 302, etc., but so he just put KK for outboards instead of Mercury outboards on there. But the first true multi-car team, Carl Kikaver was well ahead of his time in terms of that endeavor, but uh, was not a good uh, team leader. Not a lot of good morale, not a lot of good things there. So anyway, that's the events and birthdays for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you come back each and every day tomorrow morning. What is it? Tomorrow's going to be Saturday. Did I just say today was Friday? Well, I meant Thursday. So uh, ignore the Thursday at the top of the show. Uh, tomorrow's Friday. I've got my days all confused. I don't know where I'm at. So anyway, thanks again for watching. Come back tomorrow, which will be Friday. I'm, I'm excited about Friday because Friday's payday. So anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you later.